Today I'm going to teach you crocheting for beginners. Uh, you're going to want to grab your largest hook. So I grabbed my eight millimeter and a very thick yarn. If you don't know what yarn to get, you're going, when you're at the store buying the yarn, you're going to want to look at the yarn label and on the back of the yarn label, it should have a yarn ball with a label on it and the label says six. So that's the kind of yarn you're gonna need and an eight millimeter crochet hook. So to get started, you're gonna want to begin with a slip knot. So what I like to do is I like to wrap it around my two fingers, take that loop, twist it, grab the strand and pull it tight. Then you're just going to want to insert your hook, pull it tight, just not too tight. Leave it a little loose for your first project. If this is your first time crocheting, keeping everything loose is going to make it a lot easier. So now you're going to want to pick up your yarn, make sure you have your yarn in your non-dominant hand and your hook in your dominant hand. So if you're right-handed, the hook needs to be in your right hand. If you're left-handed, the hook needs to be in your left hand. And the strand of yarn will be in your non-dominant hand. I like to just wrap mine around my fingers like this. So I pick it up with my first three and wrap it like that. But it doesn't matter how you hold it. You can even just pinch it or wrap it around your finger or however is most comfortable. First, you're gonna want to wrap it around your hook. And I like to grab it by the knot here and pull it up and over off of that hook. So let's do that again. Wrap it, wrap it right here at the bottom of the loop, pull it up and over. Wrap it, grab it by the bottom, pull it up and over. You're gonna want, this is how you figure out how long you want your project. So depending how long the chain is, that's how long your project is gonna be. So you're just gonna wanna practice this for a little bit, this first motion. Practicing the hook motions is gonna help you later on when you are making stitches. I started with six chains. I didn't want it to be too long, so to count how many chains you have, you have these V's and that's one chain. So one V, two V, three V, four V, five V, and this one up here is your sixth. Do not count this loop as that is not a chain. You should always have a loop on your hook. All right, so now we're going to skip over that first V. So. As you can see, there's a V right here and then a second one. So you're gonna want to insert your hook into the top loop of that second V. Then you're gonna yarn over, grab it from right here, this so the bottom, grab it from the chain right there and pull it through. And remember to keep everything nice and loose. So if you just want to give a small tug on that loosen it up a little bit that would be helpful then you're going to want to yarn over and hold i like to hold it right here at the bottom of these two loops on your hook then you're going to want to pull and turn your hook downward and pull it through and you should have one loop on your hook now make sure that's nice and loose you're going to go to your next v insert your hook Yarn over, pull your hook downward and pull it through that loop. Yarn over, grab below these two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull your hook downward and pull it through those two loops. Go into that next V. Yarn over, pull your hook downward, pull it through. 
grab under those two loops, yarn over, and pull it through. This is called your single crochet stitch, and this is the first stitch you should learn when starting crochet. Alright, you have completed your first row. Now you're going to want to make a chain one and turn your project. So we were working this way. Now you're going to want to turn it because you're out of stitches. So now we're back to our row and you can see there's like gaps. So on the top there's these again and you can see little spaces on your project. So you're gonna insert into that first space. So just, if you don't know what space to insert your hook into, find the first V and insert under those two Vs. So on your hook, if you insert it in the proper place, you should have two Vs and a loop on your hook. You're gonna to want to yarn over just like before and pull through that V. Now you're going to want to make sure everything's loose, yarn over, pinch those two loops, and pull through. Look for those next two Vs, insert under those two Vs, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pinch those two loops, and pull through. Insert under those two Vs, Pull your yarn up, pull through those last two loops. Chain one and turn your work, and you're going to find those two V's again. Insert under those two V's, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pinch those two loops, and pull through. Next, at the end of your row, if you want to finish off, you're going to cut your yarn leaving about a, I leave about an inch and a half of tail, two inches. You're going to yarn over and just pull that tail all the way through. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you would like some other beginner stitches, I will leave a card up above for five beginner crochet stitches and I will see you next time.